So, I decided I want to do this game real quick. It's going to be a very short LP. It's only going to be like a few videos. Let's see what we got here in just a moment. It is a very fun game. It's honestly one of the most fun video game franchises of all time. That really can't play in your home very much. Because it wasn't... It's an arcade game. It's a light gun arcade game series. Very popular, very fun. You'll see as soon as it comes up. December 18th, 1998. You guys enjoy the cutscene. I'll be back in a couple minutes. A minute or two. Year 2000. And now. House of the Dead 3. I love the series. So when I was a kid, we had a arcade at the uh, bowling alley, which is now closed. They had the original House of the Dead. I played the hell out of that. Eventually, they got rid of it and got House of the Dead 2, and that was followed by House of the Dead 3. Unfortunately, it closed before House of the Dead 4 came out, so yeah. I didn't get to play that one. I got to play it at the Ameristar Casino in St. Charles, though, so... It is what it is. Alright, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to be playing this on very hard difficulty. <clears throat> because, why not? See, now we can... See, see, now we can use... We can go up to as high as five on the life meter. Five torches. Hit five times. Lose a credit. We're going to go with four, though. Because it will make it a little more challenging than that. And we're going to go with nine because, hey, just because I want to challenge it doesn't mean I actually want to die while playing this. We can go up to 9, or we can go free play, but, you know, free play, that, that just feels like cheating. So we're going to go with 9, just to give me a chance at actually beating this without, you know, feeling like I'm cheating you guys. Red, of course, instead of green. Gratuitous violence instead of, you know, medium, mild crosshair setting. We're going to go with what we have here. Exit. Um, exit. With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Chapter Zero. This is 20 years after the events of the first game. I want you to just realize, in three years, it really will be 20 years. God, I remember when House of the Dead was new. Ugh, I'm starting to feel a little old now. Damn, 20 something, I can't say I'm old. Are we the only ones left? No one's responding. We're running out of time. Let's move out. We can't forget yeah. our mission. A little something from college humor. I love those guys so much. Much better than the fine bros. Screw the fine bros. Alrighty. 
We can't let everyone's death be in vain. Hurry. You know, I'm not going to go on about that. They've been talked about. They've been talked about to death. Shot. Perfect. Stay out of my Each of these zombies has actually has a certain name. I don't know. I don't quite know what they call them, but these plant covered ones that come out of the water, they're in every House of the Dead game. I just prefer to call them Kelpies because, you know, they're covered in. They're covered in plants. Covered in mo a mossy material. I know Kelp and Moss are not the same thing, but you know what, I, I, like, I like going with it. I like calling them Kelpies, it's what I've called them since I was a kid, I, it's what I call them now. That giant monster there you saw? That's one of the bosses we'll be fighting in the game. My dear Daniel, I'll never give up. No matter what the doctors say, I'll gladly step into forbidden territory if it will save your life. That was Dr. Curian. He's pretty much the one responsible for the whole zombie thing. I'll explain later, but... It's been two weeks since we lost contact with Rogan. We can't wait any longer. Are you ready, Lisa? I promised Mom that I'd bring him home. Let's go, G. We're gonna go with the entrance. I'll do the parking another time because, well, there's just more to see. It's a different layout to the game. That's one thing I love with the House of the Dead games is that all the different maps, all the different routes of the maps. Of course, they become less relevant. They become less. Whoa! No, you don't. That was close. No! Okay, got that frog. Oh yeah, I do recommend shooting a lot of the barrels and stuff in the game. Because there are bonuses back there you can get. You know, be it extra points or health bonus. Shit. That one always gets me. No matter how much I shoot it. How soon I start shooting it. But oh well. We can get that life back now by rescuing G. Oh, I hate these birds. I hate these birds so much. Fun fact about the uh, bosses in this game, each one of them, actually not just this game, but throughout the series, damn you, are named after tarot cards. With the exceptions of the ones in House of the Dead Overkill. Then again, I don't really know if I can consider House of the Dead Overkill to be canon with the series. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fun game, don't get me wrong. Shit. Screw you two. There we go. Hey, Health bonus. Let's get going. Yeah, of all the games in the series, House of the Dead 2 is my personal favorite. 
I have it on this one, but I've yet to complete it on uh, Xbox, so I don't know if I'll be doing that one anytime in the near future. Why am I suddenly getting... We can't go this way. I'm usually so good at this. Why am I suddenly sucking? Thank you. At the end of each chapter depends on the points you obtain, how fast you clear the uh, right, Lisa. level, yeah, just a little shaken up. and how much damage you take. Okay, we're gonna go with the Genome Ward first, because I just want to get this one out of the way. This is my least favorite level in the my entire always game. Involved in missions like this? Yeah, who knows how many times your father and I survived by the skin of our teeth. What do you think your father did for a living? Salsa is my f least favorite boss in the game. Not just the game, but the entire series. Look, Daniel. It's the key. This will remove the barrier between life and death. You don't need to fear anything anymore, Daniel. Not even death. Trying to save his son. That's why he got into this whole research to find a pretty much a way to cure death. What happened to the world? The 1998 Curie Mansion case happened, I suppose. The project was a threat to humanity itself. Your father and I put a stop to it, though. Killing bats. I like bats. I don't want to kill them. Damn, I was hoping to hit it one more time at least. So, you know, these guys kind of remind me of the liquors from the Resident Evil series. Another awesome zombie game series. If you guys want to check that out. Yeah, well, you are. Lisa, back me up. Gotta move quickly with that one. Oh, and also, don't shoot G when you're doing this, because that will be an automatic fail. Just don't let him get hit. Kill the zombies before they can hit him. Alrighty. Easy pickings. These guys aren't though. No! Shit! Oh no you don't. How the hell? Wasn't it even, wasn't even close. That's more like it. Here we go. See if we can regain that life we lost. No! Come on. Oh yeah, in a couple of areas of in a couple of areas the frame rate slows down. Just like right there. Get a little more out of that. 
I would have got that thing, so. See, we're at the boss now. I hate this boss so much. Oh man! I was trying to make place. Some sort of feeding ground. I was trying to make sure I haven't I haven't lost a single life before I get to this boss. <clears throat> Makes playing through this game so much easier. Well, I'm definitely losing my I'm definitely gonna lose life to this boss, but. I'm just going to say this, playing this on console, this boss is not so bad, but playing in the arcade, it is a pain in the ass. See, his weak spot are the claws here. I'm trying to shoot that small target while he's moving. There's this crap here. Okay, I hate this portion. be done with this boss so badly now. See why? When he does that, it's really hard to hit his paw. Hit his claw? Come on! Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is next. When he leaps at you. Although I did find a, I did figure out the best strategy for this. Wait for that claw to get close to you first. Shit. Really? See like that. As soon as it, as soon as it's like, right, right in front of you, that loosen to his claw. Just unload on it. And I should take him down. Had enough yet? <sighs> See, uh, I'm not surprised I got a C on that one. <sighs> I just hate this so little so much. You and my father stopped Tyrion's plans, right? <laughs> So now we got a now we got a decision to make to go to the bio labs or somewhere else. It's like east is east and west is west, but the caretaker he said it best. Eeny, meeny, miny, screw it. I I like this next one. Maybe somebody's trying to continue this legacy. See the bio plant. I like the bio plant. It's actually my favorite level in this, not just in this game, but in the entire franchise. One of my favorite boss, with my favorite boss, too. Have I stepped outside the bounds of human morality? Most of my researchers have left me. Alright guys, once the chapter loads, I'm going to pause it and then we're going to cut the video. We're going to come back to it shortly after. You're getting along with Rogan? I don't know. My father always put work ahead of his family. I barely have any memories of him spending time with Mom and me. Ouch. That's pretty harsh. Well, what do you expect? He's always making us worry. I should slap him upside the head for Mom. Alrighty, guys. That'll do for this video. Next time, we're going to head into the bio plant, and we're going to confront a really 
a, a really clever boss. Alright guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you shortly.